After the attack on America on September the 11th, 2001, the Executive Committee of the Daughters of the American Revolution established the DAR Patriot Award to honor those men and women who provide extraordinary service in order to protect America's freedom. This award can be given to an individual or to groups that have exhibited heroic effort and unfailing commitment in defense of the United States of America. Lieutenant General Robert Ashley has personified this type of steadfast commitment and extraordinary service. Lieutenant General Ashley is a career Army military intelligence officer who has served in numerous combat deployments, including as an intelligence analyst in Operation Joint Forge, Sarajevo, Bosnia, Herzegovina, as a squadron commander in Operation Enduring Freedom, Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom, where he later also served as a brigade commander. Later in his military career, while serving as Deputy Chief of Staff for the Intelligence of the International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan, he was in charge of the entirety of NATO's intelligence support to Operation Enduring Freedom, providing critical intelligence on enemy movements and terrorist activities that saved countless lives of U.S. soldiers. Lieutenant General Ashley has also served as the senior advisor to the Secretary of the Army and Army Chief of Staff for all aspects of intelligence, counterintelligence, and security. Most recently, in his role as the 21st Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, he has led more than 16,500 active duty and Department of Defense civilians worldwide in providing critical military intelligence to national security leaders and commanders on the battlefield, informing decision makers at all levels of the United States government. These assignments highlight just a few of Lieutenant General Ashley's accomplishments in service to our nation. In recognition of that service to the United States of America this evening, we present Lieutenant General Ashley with the DAR Patriot Award. Thank you, Madam President General Van Buren for the kind introduction. And thank you for selecting me as this year's DAR Patriot Award recipient. More importantly, I want to thank the Daughters of the American Revolution for dedicating tonight as National Defense Night in honor of our nation's active service members and the veterans who have made our service possible. For the last 36 years, I've been on an amazing journey in defense of an idea and along that journey, I've been assisted by so many incredible men and women, all patriots, service members, civilians, contractors, and amazing families that support them and work tirelessly in our communities. This is a team sport, and I have a lot of incredible teammates. As I reflect on the last 36 years, I'm reminded of the poem by Robert Frost the road not taken. Frost's poem describes a path taken by few and the incredibly positive impact of having taken that journey. The last stanza, two paths diverged in a wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Those words truly speak to my heart. For me, Two paths diverged more than five decades ago. As a kid, the decision on which path to take was probably never in question because of my family's history. The road less traveled by has allowed me to see the world in peace and in war. It has allowed me to serve along the most incredible leaders who no doubt will fill future history books that my grandchildren will read. And perhaps my son might even pull out a picture and say, there's your grandfather with one of those famous history makers. For all of us, the journey starts the same. When we raise our right hand and make the commitment to something bigger than ourselves, in defense of an idea for which we are willing to give what Lincoln described on the battlefield at Gettysburg, the last full measure of devotion. Defending those rights is a commitment we make to the United States, to our citizens, and to those in harm's way. It is a responsibility and a privilege that I share with teammates around the world. But my story is not unique. 
As with so many, it is a story of service passed down from generation to generation. My great uncle landed at Normandy. My dad served as a soldier in the Korean War. And after a short break, would enlist in the Air Force for 20 years, deploying as an airman to Vietnam when I was 10 years old. My older brother would become an Air Force pilot. In 1986, he would lead a mission into Vietnam to recover our fallen. So let me accept this award on behalf of the long line of patriots that have been with me over the years. I owe a debt of gratitude to so many people that helped make my 36 years of service possible, who supported, who mentored, and challenged me each day to be better, and through their actions, inspired me and countless others. Most importantly, I'd like to say thanks to my family, my spouse, Barb, and my two incredible sons, Sean and Justin. While they never really raised their hands, they sort of did. As dependents, they've served each day that I have. When I deploy, my family is with me, as in all our families are when we go into harm's way. All our family sacrifices through the decades of war have been tremendous. I know what has enabled me to be able to complete this journey is that my family has always been there for me. As Ronald Reagan said so adeptly, Freedom is only one generation away from extinction. And while I closed my military career this fall, I knew there was a rising generation that is up to the task to defend the Constitution. For me, public service is an honor and a privilege, but it's also a choice, one that many Americans make each day. And when the journey is over, the road less traveled by will truly have made all the difference for all of us that serve. And we will be better citizens for having made the journey. As a career intelligence officer and the current director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, I consider myself very fortunate to work with the people that choose to make that decision every day. At the Defense Intelligence Agency, it is our responsibility to provide intelligence to senior leaders and policymakers so that they can make informed decisions about the nation's security. It is no small task. And each day, I get to see the incredibly talented men and women who help carry that heavy weight on behalf of the nation. In the last stanza of Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, he writes, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that is in it. For me, Kipling describes the essence of the journey we all make in service to the nation and the expectation of what we must be ready to commit to be able to complete the journey. Simply stated, the expectation is that you will give it your all because what hangs in the balance should we fall short. This is not an easy task, even under normal circumstances. Today, during this time of uncertainty, I have watched our team prove relentless in their commitment to excellence in defense of our nation. The men and women at DIA and across the Department of Defense make sacrifices daily to ensure that our adversaries never catch us off guard. Over the past few months, this has grown even more complicated, not only working long hours, but many working from home while homeschooling their children. I also know that patriotism and public service is not confined to a uniform. Patriotism defines the volunteer work of foundations like the Daughters of the American Revolution, who spend countless hours in their local communities, supporting underserved children and assisting veterans. Patriotism defines the dedication of our first responders, the doctors and nurses who are confronting the threat of COVID-19, unwavering in their commitment to serve despite the threat to their own personal safety. And patriotism defines our families 
who make extraordinary sacrifices that enable us to serve and are rarely recognized for their amazing contributions. Mothers, fathers, wives, husbands, sisters, brothers, sons and daughters across the nation. You are the why we get up in the morning. To all our families, thank you for your patience during the long deployments, for standing strong through missed holidays, missed birthdays, and special events. Without your love and encouragement, we could never fill that unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run on behalf of this great nation. And while we all come from different backgrounds, we have one thing in common. We all love this country. Moreover, we've made a decision to serve our fellow Americans so that they can pursue their hopes and dreams. And despite the turmoil of uncertainty that we've experienced over the course of this year, Americans continue to answer the call to service. And I know our best days are ahead of us. To the daughters of the American Revolution, Madam President General Van Buren, thanks for making me this year's DAR Patriot Award recipient. And for the work you do supporting our communities and our veterans. And thanks to all who serve this great nation from the local communities to those on distant battlefields. I am proud and grateful to accept this award on behalf of those that answer the call to serve, whether military, civilian, contractor, spouse, and our children. Each a patriot in their own right. So let me close with a quote from President Ulysses S. Grant. Grant said, I appreciate the fact, and I am proud of it, that the attentions I am receiving are intended more for our country than me personally. Thank you again, and God bless America.